Sustained high winds over much of Nebraska during late October may have complicated corn stalk grazing. We've told you previously, University of Nebraska-Lincoln research shows the practice of allowing cattle to graze stalks can be mutually beneficial for crop and livestock producers. However, if those winds knock down too much corn before harvest, you may need to make extra preparations before turning cows or cattle into fields. Nebraska Extension's Mary Drunowski says corn losses of up 20 bushels an acre occurred in UNL research fields near Mead, and up to 50 bushels an acre of corn were found on the ground near Clay Center. We talked with Mary earlier this week and asked how that could cause problems for livestock. With cattle out grazing, we have a problem with them eating too much corn and causing acidosis or lowering their ruminal pH such that you can actually kill cattle. Well, how do you determine then how much corn is in the field? Well, that's a great question. The easiest way is actually to go out and walk areas of the field. And what we suggest is essentially go out in between two rows, walk 100 feet and count how many ears you find. Do that in three different places in the field. So you have a total of 300 feet. Take that number, so let's say I had 30 ears total, divide that by two and that tells me how many bushels of corn grain I have in the field. And so in this case, if I had 30, it'd be 15 bushels. How much is too much? How much is too much? Anything greater than 10, we have to start thinking about how do we mitigate that risk of acidosis. Do different animals, different classes of livestock consume that differently? Yeah, actually, uh, mature cows who've been out in the field before, they know what this is and they go seeking it out. And so we have issues with them actually overeating and having acidosis, whereas a calf or a replacement heifer who's never been out on stocks, it takes her a while to figure this out. And so we have a lot lower risk with them. Plus, with those uh, calves or replacement heifers, there's some value to that extra energy. They can actually gain a little bit more and so they can make use of that. Whereas, you know, our dry spring uh, calving cow, really she doesn't need that extra energy. And so it's, it's really not all that beneficial for us. If possible, then should you change the, the class of livestock that you're putting on the field? If you have the ability to utilize, uh, let's say some calves that you just weaned or some replacement heifers, um, it's probably one of your better options if you have a lot of uh, downed ears. Otherwise, tell me how you can safely graze. Yeah, so it, unfortunately, it's going to be some extra labor. I mean, there's some things we can do if we're in that 8 to 10 bushel range, like A, making sure they're full when they go out, B, adapting them to grain before. So that means start feeding about two weeks beforehand and bring them up onto corn. So start out about two pounds a day, work your way up to 10 before you turn them out. Uh, in, and also feeding menensin. So, and you can provide that in the mineral and that will help uh, lower the risk of overeating. However, if we're above that 10 bushels, we're probably gonna have to limit access. So that means either strip grazing or providing them access to um, not the whole field at once. Putting a lot of cows out is a lot better than putting few cows out. Uh, one of the things I want you to think about, let's say you have 20 bushels out there, which is not uncommon common right now with all the wind, um, that's over a half a ton of corn grain per acre. So if I had 100 cows and I gave them access to one acre, they'd be able to eat 11 pounds of corn per day just in that one acre. So really we're looking at a substantial amount of corn out in those fields. Does anything change if you bale it? Do you need to be concerned about picking up additional ears there or anything like that? So it's a good question. Actually, I think baling it is, is an opportunity in that most people, they're going to go through and bale. They will pick up some ears. Uh, there will still be some ears on the ground, but they'll pick up some of them. Most people that are going to feed that are actually going to grind it up, and so it's going to get mixed in. It probably will provide a little additional energy, but there's very little risk of overeating. The final question, perhaps maybe the most important, is there a price adjustment if you're going to be grazing on land like this? That's a great question and, and to me there's pluses and minuses to this down to ear situation when it comes to grazing. The plus is yeah you have some added energy out there. The minus is we have a lot higher risk and we're going to have to have that higher labor because we're either going to have to limit access via time or limit access by extra fencing. And so to me I think it's really a wash. Mm -hmm.